Well, how do you feel the EY prepared you for this uh, new career in public service or this, this uh, entry into the ministry? Well, I think that everyone that is in politics is enriched by having a strong, solid, uh, intellectual, academic, scientific training and the EY help in that respect. It also helped because it inserted me in a cosmopolitan environment and that opened my horizons uh, and challenged me in many different ways. So both intellectually but also in the cosmopolitan perspective that it offered me about life that I think it's so important when you exercise politics at national level today, I think it has been very useful. Okay. And then uh, with regard to the State of the Union itself, um, how do you feel about the bringing together of policymakers, academics, um, those from the private sector? Already when I was at the UI, I was always, as an academic, I believe that it was very important to merge the gap that sometimes, and mutual diffidence that sometimes exists between academic and politicians. The two activities are very different, uh, but they are important in itself. I don't think you can think the world as an academic without understanding, understanding what is actually taking place in the world. But I also believe that politicians have a lot to learn by challenging themselves to ideas, even ideas that sometimes are a little bit outside the box. And, and the, the politicians have a lot to gain from that. We need, as a politician, and I'm speaking as a politician now, to be challenged, to be faced with ideas that otherwise we will not think about, to be forced to think outside the ways that you normally uh, think when you operate within a certain political constraints. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.